Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a message from your future self. So we have group number one with the amethyst, group number two with the copper, and group number three with the Caribbean calcite. All these crystals are on my store, and if you wanna have, if you wanna check that out, all the information is down below. So please choose your group. If you wanna pause the video for extra time, please do that. All the timestamps will be down in the comment section and also in the description box down below. So let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So we have this gorgeous amethyst cluster. I love these, they're so, 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 so good for just relaxation and just calming you, a really, really beautiful crystal. So, so let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the first crystal underneath the card deck. So we have a Tibetan black quartz. So this says, when you're chasing enlightenment on a meditation cushion, when you're pulling tarot cards, lighten up your spiritual path. So I feel like from your future self, they want you to meditate. So for those of you who are being caught out by your future self right now and you need to meditate, they're definitely telling you to meditate. I also feel like for you guys, it's learning to trust your intuition and trusting that you know that things are gonna be okay. And just, yeah, just really like taking that leap of faith because I feel like with a lot of, with intuition is definitely a trusting thing and we have to kind of let go and just let things be. So I do feel like for this, it's really important to trust your intuition and just let go. And it also says people who need it are Sagittarians, so you could be a Sagittarius also. It says where to put it, we, wherever you are looking to elevate the vibe, operate on a higher plane and explore the vastness of your human consciousness. So this is really, really beautiful. I feel like this is definitely about you kind of taking to new heights. So for some of you who are really kind of wanting to enlighten, like expand your spiritual journey, want to meditate more, who want to, <clears throat> excuse me, possibly connect to your guys, connect to your ancestors. This is a really good crystal and I highly, highly recommend. So let's have a look at your astrology cards and then we'll move on to those. So, okay, so first astrology card we have is 11th house of society. We then have Aquarius and we also have partners. So what this is telling me is you guys, if you are single, you could meet somebody through a kind of group situation or somewhere where there is some sort of Aquarian energy. So it could be in like a spiritual group. It could be like a group where you all have something in common. It could be like on a Zoom call group kind of thing, even if you don't want to meet up in person, that sort of thing. But I feel like for those of you, I'm hearing, especially for those of you who are introverted, I feel like if you make the leap and kind of, if you if you do want to join a group and you're kind of tempted to, I feel like this is kind of like a, a sign to do that. And I do feel like your future self is trying to push you towards your um, partner, your new partner, your soulmate, you know? So for those of you who are single and are wanting um, a long lasting partnership, this is somebody who will really kind of help you to embrace your spirituality and embrace your own path. This person's very individualistic. There's somebody who's very independent, but they also really, really care about you. Aquar Aquarius moons especially are very, very soft and genuine. And obviously Aquarius suns too, but having Aquarius in the moon sign can really kind of make it a very family orientated energy. And I do feel like also is the way you are seeing your relationships is definitely changing. And your future self is helping you to realize your own independence. And if you wanna go out with your friends and kind of have some fun, then definitely go do that. Cause I feel like you've been lacking in kind of just really letting go and letting yourself be free in that sense. And just, yeah, just letting yourself do your own thing. So next card we have out is blend into the environment, which I feel like is pretty much the opposite to the Aquarian energy. So let's give this a read. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So I do feel as if there's somebody who is kind of interrupting your energy and it could be somebody who is possibly like a toxic energy, somebody who's really just affecting you and making you feel uncomfortable. So make sure to really kind of think if this person is the right person to entertain, if this is something that you should really be kind of in, but also just work on your energy around blending into the environment. Maybe you feel like you need to blend in more and maybe it, it's kind of like a chance for you to expand yourself. So if you guys, if you are especially introverted or you're really kind of feeling very closed off um, from society or just, just wanting to be more connected to people, I feel like it's really important for you to expand yourself and like join more spiritual communities 
or speak to more people and let your feelings be heard. Like really talk to people about how you're feeling and that will really help you to kind of expand your horizons and really kind of allow yourself to be vulnerable because I feel like for a lot of you guys you could be too independent you know too independent you know what is that but you know it kind of like making sure you're not using it as a strategy to kind of push people away or keep them at a distance okay I also feel like you need to assess how like your skills and really realize that you have a lot of skills and that you can really use them in any situation and also if there's something you've been wanting to do for a long long time definitely start it. So say if you're really into Reiki and you want to start a Reiki course or you want to do a yoga class, something like that, really look into that and see if that's something that you want to do, you know, because if you give yourself permission to do it, there's endless possibilities, okay? So the last two oracle cards here we have is the crow and we also have the raccoon. So beautiful, two beautiful energies. So the crow is all about intuition as we have in this first card here. Um, I do feel like there's definitely something around your intuition. There's something around exiting the premises. And a lot of the time I get this message, especially exiting the premises. My Mer Mercury retrograde is really messing with my speech. I can't. Okay, let's start that again. So basically, you guys are really, really being pushed by the universe to come out of your comfort zone. And this could be to do with you guys really embracing your individuality. You could have been in very toxic uh, relationships or friendships or situations but it could even be um, the pressure you put on yourself where you feel like you can't be your authentic self maybe you want to start doing tarot cards and maybe like your family doesn't approve of it that sort of thing there's so much nesting underneath this and i feel like you're sitting on top of it essentially so part of you could be very scared about being rejected and it could also be that you're, you're really into somebody and you want to make your move and i do feel like this is definitely a message for you to make that move if that's something that you want to do. I feel like there's various different messages, but I also feel like the main message is really about you standing up for yourself and being your own authentic self. And if there's something that you want to achieve in this life, you can freaking do it. And the raccoon is really showing me that you guys are very scared and you want to kind of hide. But also you may really, um, I'm hearing the word fathom. That's a very strange word. I feel that you guys are really, you really revel in darkness. I feel like some of you guys could really be night owls. So you might get your best ideas from in the night and, and use that, utilize that, you know, really utilize that energy. And I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be very stuck on somebody and it could be a very negative energy and your future self is saying to let that person go so you can really expand and be this gorgeous, authentic person that you're born to be, especially spiritually as well. I feel like you guys really are so intuitive and very switched on in that sense. So allow yourself to do that and allow yourself to be that person because you deserve that. You deserve that love and, and care and affection. I really think you do okay so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what's going on with you guys and see what messages want to come through oops i'm gonna do this off camera over here get a bit more space okay we have the five of swords you guys are really you guys are thinking a lot i think you're worried about um the world as well you're worried about things that go on in the world and don't worry about it guys everything's meant to happen even if it is really uncomfortable all of this stuff it is really meant to happen it really is okay so just really try to ground yourself and meditate and know that you have control even though you might not think it work on your root chakra work on your element of safety and that's really going to help you okay because i feel like there's something around you not feeling safe and you could you could maybe not feel safe in your home environment and i do i'm really sorry if you are feeling like that because obviously that's something that is not very comfortable so let's get you one more card here have the king of cups you guys are definitely going to meet somebody soon you i definitely feel like some of you guys are really going to meet somebody soon so okay let's have a look at these cards okay so i do feel like with the five of five of swords and the chariot you guys are really feeling i'm feeling like an up and down energy you're kind of feeling really motivated and really unmotivated just be aware that there's a lot of astrology stuff going on right now and planets retrograding and all that stuff so just be really kind to yourself the energies are very intense we are going through this gigantic awakening so if you are feeling overwhelmed really meditate and talk to friends and just really be in your own energy and just look after yourself you don't have to push yourself don't push yourself too hard and also if you need to take some time off work or school or anything like that give yourself that time even if it's 10 minutes you know just to really not think about anything and just be in your own energy because at the end of the day a lot of the stuff we go through materialistic wise like 3d 
it's all very silly you know <laughs> this human world we are here to learn so if it gets too much just really kind of pull back and allow yourself to relax even if it's just like a bubble bath or meditation or a talk with a friend or a walk you know nature will really super 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 will help you so 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 much okay so that will really help you so I feel like with the chariot, you are definitely moving into a really nice area of your career. So if you guys are really worried about your career, there's nothing to worry about there. I feel like you're expanding your horizons and you're thinking about a new uh, work endeavor. So for those of you who want to start a new business, really, really good chance that you're going to do very well with it. Also, if you need to ask for money or borrow money, um, I definitely feel like that's a good chance that you could do that. If that's something that you need to do, I definitely feel like do that and don't feel embarrassed by it. Obviously, borrow it from somebody you really trust. That will really help, obviously. Um, and also I'm just hearing don't let people judge you don't don't listen to people if they're judging you because at the end of the day it's just their opinion and you do what's best for you we're all individuals we all need different things so it's not up to anybody else to have their opinions on us uh, obviously if they're positive then that's always good uh, or constructive criticism okay so we all have also have the king of cups so your new work endeavor is going to lead you to a water sign it's going to lead you to a romantic partner who really really appreciates you and loves you this energy is you worrying possibly about being single as well for some of you guys. You worry about not manifesting a relationship. Just be aware, guys, that you definitely will meet somebody when it's the right time. Okay, you really, really will. And I feel like for some of you guys, you just got to move your attention away from that. Because when you guys focus on something, it can really, really affect your mental health and it can make you feel anxious. Don't focus on this because it's something that is out of your control, essentially. The universe will sort it out. Your spirit guides will sort it out. And your future self is saying, girl, you have nothing to worry about. Your career is on fire. Your career is getting better. You will find this new path that you are seeking. And you will most likely meet someone who's very, very special. If you guys are not single, you're not wanting a relationship, this could be a friend. But also just like I'm hearing like a confidant, like someone who's really, really good at what they do. And they're going to educate you and help you. I'm also hearing for some of you guys, this is a very intimate message. So those of you who aren't 18 or over, you know, just beware that for those of you who haven't been intimate with anybody and this is going to be your first time being intimate with somebody, if this is, if you are single, I do feel as if somebody this is going to be their first time as well, or it's going to be your first time and it's going to be very, very special and it's going to be really, really amazing. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to check out my crystal shop, please do. All the information is down below. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for 20,000 20, subscribers. I really appreciate you, all of you. I honestly am so grateful that I can express my authentic self and I'm gonna get really, really emotional. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna end the video. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the copper ball, the copper sphere. I'm obsessed with these, they are amazing. They are so good for clearing your pineal gland. These will be on my shop very, very soon, so look out for that. And let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. So the first card we have out is the crystal card. So we're gonna look at that one first. So this is Amatry, beautiful. So Amatrine is all about uh, citrine and amethyst. It's all about balancing out your solar plexus with your crown chakra. So that's really, really beautiful. Okay, so this is for the chronically indecisive Libras. Love that. Um, so it says where to put it, wherever you do your best thinking, when to use it, if a deadline is on the horizon and you need a big idea. If you can't decide on something, swipe left or swipe right. Um, where did I read that? Oh, yes, that's right, right, right. Call on Amatrine. And remember, either way, everything is going to be amazing. Make your dreams big. Oh, I can't. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry for my speech. Mercury retrograde is really messing up my speech. So I'm going to try my best to read this card. And I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to say again. Either way, everything is going to be amazing. Make your big dreams your big life. Okay, so... I do feel like there's something around expansion and really kind of opening yourself up to something bigger than maybe the what you think you are, but honestly you are so ready to handle this. So I feel like some of you guys, you could be releasing a book very soon, um, but your, your future self is basically saying that you can handle this. So if you're really struggling with stuff and things just feel too big, it could be anxiety, it could be just, I really wanna get that goal, when is it gonna happen? Or I really wanna manifest a relationship, when is it gonna happen? Just really focus on what you can do now and what you have control of. Because at the end of the day, those things, yes, they are in our control, but a lot of it is out of our control. You know, part of it is our, our learning path being on as, as a human on this earth. So I feel like for you guys, it's really important to 
just relax and understand that everything is going to be okay and your dreams are definitely not too big for you to accomplish and you will get there okay it's just a matter of timing which i know sucks but sometimes we've got we've got we've got a girl we have we have to just get used to it you know what i'm saying uh, but it will happen guys it will when it's when it's the right time for you so we have the sixth house of service we have gemini and we also have the 12th house of secrets so the 12th house is ruled by pisces you guys might actually be having physical dreams about what you want to accomplish and this and when you start to have them it's actually the universe and your future self saying this is you manifesting your dreams and this is you get preparing for things to get ready so essentially they're basically saying that you have things to do before you manifest your dream because essentially if you had your dream now you may not be able to handle it you know and it may kind of go bad you know so i feel like for you guys it's really important for you to work on yourself work on your uh your physical body really learning to work on your like exercise and work on that physical body so with the sixth health this is all about your health your fitness your it's all it can do with pets and work habits and organization and service so with this this is all about how you are handling the situation that you're in right now are you looking after yourself are you exercising are you eating well you know all of those things can really really affect your mental health and also just affect your physical health you know i feel like some of you guys are really working on your heart chakra and there's a lot of things that are opening and we do have amatrine amethyst is to do with the, that heart energy as well it's that very delicate kind of sensitive open heart energy you know that doesn't need to i'm hearing that doesn't need to what's the word can you give me the word please universe it doesn't need to kind of confirm that they're feeling that so say if you're feeling an emotion don't push it down you know you're meant to feel that you don't need a okay what is the word god mercury retrograde is doing my head in okay what is the word it's like you don't need to thank you validate thank you you don't need to validate your opinions your views your i'm hearing your money as well you don't have to validate your money you don't have to validate your emotions you just have to be you you just have to be and i was talking to one of my family members today and we were talking about flowers and i said that basically no flower like competes with each other they just grow they just are they just are you know that there's nothing that they are competing against or working against or changing themselves for they just are na nature is just it just is it's heart chakra energy so with a gemini it can be <clears throat> excuse me that you're feeling a little bit unconfident about your journey you're kind of worried is it going to happen is this going to happen is is, is it going to work out yes 100 percent. you guys are most likely going through a very big transformation because the 12th house is all about endings about closure it's about spirituality and so the subconscious and dreams so for you guys you could be really releasing the need to <clears throat> also throat chakra you guys could be really releasing the need to kind of pull, pull back on your thoughts on your speech and really speak your truth and really look after your body you guys might be neglecting your body i'm getting this really weird um numbness in my left arm and i don't know why so i don't know if that means anything to any of you guys but obviously nothing to worry about it just it might just be a synchronicity of some kind okay so next card out we have facing your fears wow i definitely feel that for you guys so look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are so this is essentially amatrine this is all about confidence but also about your spirituality so it's the confidence to trust in your path trust in you and your goals and what you're really good at and know that you are good at it and you can accomplish this but also it's the connection to the universe it's trusting that whatever you're doing is getting you to where you need to be you know and everything is for a reason and as annoying <clears throat> excuse me as that as that quote is it's true you know it really is true also guys drink some water because i feel the need to drink some water right now so drink some water that will really help to flush out those toxins take some vitamins as well if you'll feel drawn to obviously i'm not a health practitioner so just take it as it resonates this is a general reading so also the way it says stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are i feel like that's so important you guys might be getting dreams that have some really significant and important energy it might be a synchronicity it might be a certain person it might be a certain emotion that you're dealing with a lot of the time well most of the time with our dreams it's essentially just unprocessed emotions or emotions that we are just processing in our non-awake life so basically you guys possibly are facing quite a few fears in your dreams and if you're learning to stand up for yourself in your dreams and you actually are standing up for yourself in your dreams that's a really good sign that you're on a on a roll because i feel like with when you do have dreams and you're kind of being like somebody running after you or trying to kill you or something like that it can be because you're trying to protect yourself and not feel scared but actually if you start to stand up in your dreams 
to other people or energies or anything like that, then you know that you are standing up in waking life. You know, just really look at those kind of little tidbits that are in your dream and kind of sense that if there's anything that you're really learning or kind of recognizing. So I do feel like you could be meeting a divine counterpart. This could be a soulmate in terms of a friendship. Could also be a partnership, romantic partner who you've been wanting for a very long time. You could have met them through work as well. But also I feel like just with this kind of stay peaceful and calm in the knowing who, of who you are is essentially accepting both sides of you, accepting the, the vulnerable, the confident, the, the, the glamorous part of you, you know, all those parts of you are precious and they're amazing and they're authentic and they're gorgeous. So really just embrace all of those sides. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be this kind of perfect robot robotic person because that is not authentic we are squishy emotional human beings who need to be loved and that's all we are here for essentially and sometimes we get a little bit lost and that's okay <laughs> um but you guys have really learned to face your fears and that's okay we have 46 as well so essentially that is the um the end and the beginning of something new coming in which is amazing i love that for you guys you guys are really working on your communication. It could especially be at work, which is good because we have the B as well. The B I see is always a Virgo card for me. It always represents work and being really busy um, and kind of letting, allowing yourself to take that time out. So the Swan, very much about divine counterparts. I feel like it's really about soulmates and seeing the reflection within yourself and learning to recognize when you are overdoing it, okay? And you might be feeling a little bit lost right now, and but you are transforming. So just be aware that you are literally in the, in the middle of a transformation process so essentially don't be hard on yourself because it is quite hard you know the energy is hard and there's a lot of us are waking up you know waking up to what we have done in the past or waking up to our relationships we have and you are going to get there it's going to be amazing guys and you're going to be absolutely fine okay um but also the b when we look at a b we can think you know i mean i don't think this but some others may like it's insignificant because it's a small little bee but they literally pollinate a third of the planet so i feel like for you guys you need to recognize your friggin importance you are so important you were made to be here on this planet and if you if you didn't need to be here you wouldn't be here essentially because our soul is here to learn and here to expand and open so you obviously are here for a reason so don't doubt yourself you know that is not what we what we're here for okay girl it's not what we're here for um also i'm hearing wasted energy don't waste your energy on negative emotions i mean obviously negative every emotion is sacred but if it's kind of like overwhelm or anxiety really understand and learn that i just that you just need to be loved that one needs to be loved okay so if you need to take time out and just talk to a friend or just really uh be near water or nature or just, you know, put off that homework or that work for tomorrow, just do it because you deserve to to have your own have your own energy and just be in that energy because we've got to fill our cup up first, you know. It's kind of like on aeroplanes, it's kind of like put your oxygen mask on first before you do it on somebody else, you know, because obviously you can't help that person otherwise. Um, I also do feel like you may be, I'm hearing mating season, which sounds very strange, but I feel like some of you guys may be pregnant, you may be wanting to get pregnant, you may be thinking um, in this kind of, um, situation with all the stuff going on in the world right now it could be that you want you are closer to your partner more than ever really and it could be that you've decided that you want a child or you want a, a, a doggy and why I said doggy but that's what I said <laughs> wow <laughs> it might be like a child I'm kind of channeling right now um, I'm hearing like a dog kitty I'm hearing like kitty cat um, like a little like something like a little girl would say or a little boy would say if they were talking about an animal like I'm hearing the word doggy and I'm seeing like a little boy pointing at a dog so some of you guys could could already have like a little boy would also um, want to have animals in the uh, house as well so very interesting energies and messages very interesting but yeah I do feel like you are learning to see the real you which I I'm looking at this card and getting really 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 emotional I feel like you guys are really seeing parts of you that you haven't seen for a while because you've, you're letting go of the past. You're letting go of all that stuff that you really don't need anymore, you know? And you're doing such a fucking amazing job, guys. You really are. So give yourself credit, okay? Really give yourself credit. And know that everything is upside down, but essentially it's always been upside down. It's just being revealed more. <laughs> So it can, it can be very confusing, but that's okay. You know, it's all meant to happen for a reason, even though it's uncomfortable. To be fair, it's uncomfortable within, within us anyway. So, you know, I'm not, it's not really surprising that it's uncomfortable out there too. Because essentially we all are connected on one level. So even though sometimes it does not feel like it. Okay, I've got a very itchy ear. <laughs> okay, so we have the Five of Swords. That's literally the same card that group number one got. So you maybe have drawn to group number one as well. 
we have the uh, Three of Pentacles. You guys are really connected to work right now. You're wanting to just possibly leave your job or you're getting really stressed out by work. So um, allow yourself that time and the break to uh, give yourself that time if you need it. You guys are really ending an old cycle. Wow, you could be meeting a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But look at that, the strength and the emperor, really big energies. So you guys are really coming into a power move. I feel like you guys are, um, I'm hearing you're going to do something that's really powerful. So it could be an, a breaking up with somebody who you just feel is not good for you anymore. It could be um, entering into a new relationship. It could be starting a new friendship with somebody. It could be texting that person you really, really fancy. All of those things, it's like those are really brave moves, but look how powerful you are overall. Like you have so much strength you can get through this, okay? But also your future self is saying that you have this all along. It's just you need to access it and, and listen to your heart, listen to your in intuition because it is there to help you, okay? So we have the Three of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. Essentially you are finding new work or you could be seeing your work differently. You could be having a new understanding around it or it could be that you're wanting to expand something and you wanted to, to kind of stand up and say your opinion about something at work but it may be scary for you because it's not that's quite scary you know it's putting yourself out there in, in a sense that you're, you're being vulnerable so I feel like for you guys this is a really big moment for you and I think your future self is saying everything's going to be okay you're you're going to be you're going to get there and you could meet somebody because of that because you're really stepping into your power so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and if you'd like to check out my crystal shop, that's also down below. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to check out his little crystal uh, crystal spheres, well, crystal, but also copper spheres, they are in the description down below in my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful Caribbean calcite, one of my absolute faves. I love him. He is he is beautiful. I sell these on my store if anyone is interested in purchasing one of those. They're really beautiful. Their energy is so soft, so gentle. Really good for new homes as well if you guys are moving house. Really good for that, but also good at really just calming the energy in the um, the room or the, the house. So let's start off with your crystal card under here. Let's put these over here for a second. So the crystal card you guys got is green calcite. I actually thought it was green adventure. Very, very similar look. So green calcite, it says when to use it, when your heart is asking for something but you la 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 aren't listening, the heart wants what it wants, the mind wants what it thinks the heart should want, call on the energy of green calcite to nudge that push and pull in the heart's favour, who needs it, anyone who finds themselves lost in the forest of doubt without a map, Libras, so live out your heart's desire, so this is essentially allowing yourself to be free, allowing yourself to be open and vulnerable, and just really allow yourself to just be who you are essentially and trusting that your opinions matter and trusting that your choices matter and that everything you're doing matters essentially. And also the fact we have Libra, it's definitely about relationships and you may be kind of assessing your relationships or manifesting some really beautiful long-term relationships, friendships, in family, in any sort of situations it doesn't have to be romantic, but I do feel like it's definitely allowing your heart to expand and allowing that energy to come in. So let's get your astrology cards. So next card that we have is last quarter. We have Jupiter, we have the waxing gibbous and we also have the new moon. Wow, you have so many moon cards. Okay, so first of all, with the last quarter, let's have a look and see what this means from the little book. So the last quarter represents releasing and letting go. Let go of the habits and negative patterns that hold you back, forgive yourself and cleanse. Waxing gibbous represents, waxing gibbous, refine and hone, observe and align your hopes to the universe, build momentum. And you also have the new moon, new beginnings, clean slate, gathering your thoughts and planning. So with Jupiter here, let's have a look and see um, what this means. I do know what Jupiter represents, but I want to get the kind of example from the book because I'm getting, being redrawn to that. So let's have a look. So Jupiter, it says, what brings me luck and success? What gives me confidence? So the Jupiter energy is all about luck, growth, expansion, optimism, understanding, and abundance. So for you guys, wow, you have so much energy. I feel like you guys don't know what's coming towards you in a sense that this is gonna be really big for you. This is this is gonna be absolutely amazing. And I think you're not you're not expecting this at all. I think you kind of have an inkling that something's gonna change or something big is coming, but I wasn't expecting this kind of sort of message. It's very big, it feels very climactic. 
And I'm hearing that Jupiter is all about just that expansion, higher power, kind of like really, just really big energy. And sorry guys, you heard me burp, that was just clarification. Um, so I feel like for you guys, you're learning to work with your North and your South node, is what I'm hearing. You are learning to observe your North node, what it is that you need in life and what you're letting go. And I feel like your North node is really important right now for some reason, They're just the, the your future self is really drawing me towards your North node and what it is that you wanna accomplish in this life. What it is that makes you feel whole, what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel confident. That's what's really gonna, bring you forward into this new energy, but you are releasing stuff and you're bringing in something new. So maybe around the next new moon, when you're watching this video, that you guys are gonna manifest this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, so let's see. We have polite declaration. I love this little crab guy, he's so cute. We also have number 19, so that could be uh, a number for you guys, a number of synchronicity. But also number nine and one is obviously 10, which is a new beginning, an, an ending of the old, a new beginning. So we have, you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It's time for you to get out there, claim what is yours and stay in your power. So I feel like you guys, you may be limiting yourself to one direction and one path and I think you can actually do various different things and allowing yourself to just do it and I think sometimes we can procrastinate because we think maybe we're not good enough or maybe it's not going to happen and we're afraid of the success or we're afraid of failure and that's okay but you've got to recognize that you were here you were here on this planet for a reason if there's something you're really passionate about you're essentially just stopping your you're pausing your life path to happen because at the end of the day if you're meant to do it it will happen and it'll be really really great you know and I know that you want this very, very badly and you will get it. I definitely feel like it's to do with your North Node. That's what I'm feeling. I'm getting all this kind of direction energy kind of pointing to your North Node. And I feel like depending on what your North Node is, I feel like that part of you is going to expand. And I feel like that's what the Jupiter energy is. You could have Jupiter quite strongly in your chart. So just have a look at where Jupiter falls in your chart that could be showing you where you're expanding. So have a look on the your birth chart wheel and see where Jupiter kind of falls, what star sign it's in, what house it's in. That can really kind of create some sort of momentum. And there may be some going on with Jupiter right now I'm not entirely sure but it could be something could be happening around Jupiter at the time that you watch this video that's really going to expand this part of your energy okay so let's have a look at your animal cards so we have the owl we have the cosmic egg one of my absolute favorite cards I love the cosmic egg he's so cute and we have the oyster okay this is so funny because I actually I was near the water today and I actually found like a little clam and I couldn't get it open and I was like, oh, he's still in there. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pop him back down again. I was kind of curious because I thought it was um, empty, but it wasn't, it, was actually, it actually had something inside. So I think for you guys, you're not realizing how much potential you have and how much impact you can actually make on the world and how much impact you do make on this world. Just you being here makes an impact because you are, you are interacting with people, you are ascending, you are working on your emotions, you're working on your body, you are, just being on this planet you know you're so important that you don't even realize it and maybe some of you guys do realize it and that's amazing so the cosmic egg is showing me here that you guys have so much power behind you and i think you have so much wisdom you're very wise you're very mature and i think people don't really realize that within you so i think it's really important for you to recognize that you have that within your energy okay and the cosmic egg is showing me that you don't have to protect yourself all the time not everyone is going to let you down and also the oyster is showing me that there's definitely some big changes happening for you guys. And I'm getting drawn to the um, the card underneath the deck, which is the elk. So this is kind of like having fire under your, under your tail, essentially. So basically, it's how you want to interact in this world and what drives you, what makes you feel really, really good, what makes you feel really accomplished and what makes you feel just really happy in this world. What, what drives you, what makes you want to keep creating and create and keep kind of you know, being creative. I feel like for a lot of you guys, cre obviously creativity comes in different forms. What form is it coming for you? And if, have you been doing creativity things recently? Have you really been helping yourself and expanding in that area? So with the oyster, it's also about being patient. It's also about hiding in a treasure. So for you guys, when, when the oyster is in balance, it's all about feeling blessed, generous, and masterful. When out of balance, it's reluctant, gripping, and clams up. So to bring into balance is to share something. It's definitely about sharing yourself like really kind of letting yourself be vulnerable because that's amazing, you know? And if people, you know, freaking don't understand that, then they suck, <laughs> okay? Essentially, they're not the right people for you and you need to surround yourself with people who do understand you, who do listen to you, who listen to your views. And then today, if they don't agree with them, it doesn't matter, it's just your opinion, you know? Everyone has a different opinion or if they have the same opinion, that's amazing. So also it says here in the book, it says, 
The only perception, sorry, the only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy and doubtful. This can lead to withdrawing and protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. Oh my God, I love this. You guys are gonna be so blessed. When you open yourself up more, you're gonna be so blessed. People are gonna love you and accept you for who you are. And you have so many gifts that you, you need to share. You really do need to share these, okay? And it can be as simple as um, making a blog. It can be making um, art for somebody. And then when, the, when you make it for them, they wanna share it with others. And therefore that kind of makes a ripple effect. It could be you wanna work in an art studio. You want to be a security guard. You know, it could be all those things. What is it you wanna do and you're passionate about? You know, and everyone has something. So really work on that. And if you don't have anything right now, that's totally fine. You, you will find it. And it could be something as simple as you really like drawing. And it could be having doodled for a while, you know, it could be that, it could be that. And even if it doesn't lead to something revelational, it might do in the future, you know, and it will have a knock on effect. So yeah, definitely being patient. Temperance is all about patience. It's all about you kind of acknowledging your path and letting, wow, beautiful. I feel need to kind of like spin that. My cards do spin a lot on my table. So sometimes I don't really mean for them to spin, but that was kind of epic. I like that. A hearing universe is knocking on your door. Your future self is gonna is, is really helping you and guiding you towards your life path. And if you guys already feel like you're on your life path, that's amazing. You guys are really making a difference. And I think for a lot of you guys, your life path, um, your life, sorry, your life purpose, what life path as well, could also be to do with your career. So life purpose isn't always about career, but it could be. And I feel like for you guys, you're gonna earn a lot of money doing something you really, really love because work isn't about just being you know, making money, it's about being happy, it's about what fulfills you and makes you feel confident and abundant. And I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be meeting somebody, if you are single, you could definitely be meeting somebody, um, especially in work. So if you guys who have your own business or are working right now, even at uni, it could be something, it's definitely, wow, it's definitely a relationship come for you guys. If you guys are single, I can definitely see that. I'm seeing that you guys need to be patient with yourself though. It's kind of like you need to allow yourself to be vulnerable and also just be really patient with yourself. If you can't do something right away, you don't have to do it. There is no rules. The only rules is what you put on yourself. Obviously, if people are telling you this is that and you know that this is the way it is, obviously, if it's something you need to listen to, like your boss or a teacher or somebody, obviously listen to them. But they don't know everything. You know, they've only they're only giving you advice from what they've been taught. So you guys have really learned to let go of the past. You're really releasing things that just no longer serve you that aren't that are all outdated old and are just not yourself anymore and you maybe you're not feeling like yourself but it's because you're balancing things out you're essentially in this temperance energy and you're kind of weighing the scales you've got the masculine energy and the feminine energy and you're balancing that out also what i highly recommend for that for balancing it out is um, black onyx in one hand and selenite in the other or these gorgeous little copper spheres that i sell on my shop they're amazing they are really good for grounding and also really good at clearing your pineal gland so if you guys want to be more intuitive or you need to just get some clarity and you want to talk to your spirit guides placing it on your uh, third eye is going to really really help you so between your eyebrows or maybe a little bit higher it depends where you feel it is also just hold them they're really really good for grounding so I feel like for you guys, you may be feeling a little bit too human. I'm hearing some of you guys may be feeling like, oh, my life is so mundane, my life is so boring. Things will start to pick up. And I think it's basically, it's gonna be really unexpected. You're gonna meet somebody very unexpectedly. And it could be for those of you who are single and wanting a romantic partner, but also it's somebody who is, okay, I'm hearing, this is a very random message, but I'm hearing for some of you guys, it's like, your ancestors are like possibly a grandpa, a grandmother who's in spirit, great grandma, great great grandma, who's in spirit. They're basically helping you to find this person. So it may be a romantic partner. I'm feeling for a lot of you it is a romantic partner because this person's gonna be part of your ancestral line, which is amazing, I love that. So they could obviously make a baby with you if that's something you want. Obviously it doesn't have to be a male either, it can be a female too, um, or genderless, you know, whatever you, whoever you connect with on this kind of, in this circumstance, it doesn't really matter on the gender. But I do feel like this person is make, is helping you to feel stable. And I think what's happening is I'm really being drawn to one, this shield. It's kind of like you don't need to protect yourself, but this person is also very good at protecting you. They will be. Uh, second of all, there's a horse. And I feel like it's to do with the chariot, things moving forward, things changing. You could be connected to horses quite, quite nicely. Like the horses could be a really big, synchronicity for you or animals could just be really like drawn to you um horses could be a very big synchronicity for you they represent freedom so you guys can really love 
uh, really be um, somebody who's very free, want to be very free, independent, that sort of thing. I do feel like it's kind of like the horse galloping towards you. So it's like you're not going to expect this person, I don't feel. But also you are meant to meet this person. It's kind of like if you just let yourself be yourself and grow as you are, you just you just have to be yourself. And by the, by the time you have really recognised who you are, this person will be there and they will, rec they will see you. They will acknowledge you and you will be seen, essentially. So the Two of Cups is also balanced. The same with the Temperance, Masculine and the Feminine. It's a yin-yang. So basically you are going to meet somebody in divine timing, whether it's a friend, co-worker, confidant, somebody who's really on your wavelength. But you're going to meet them through hard work, I'm hearing. Some of you guys who really are hard workers and wanting to, you know, work hard for whatever you want to do. Say if it's like a career or a hobby. If you, I'm hearing if you work hard, you'll manifest this. Obviously, you don't have to work hard. This is a very human uh, message I'm hearing. With this energy, I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is all about you looking back on your accomplishments and being really proud of yourself as well. So the hard work is showing me it's kind of like consistent effort. So the more you invest in yourself, the more you're going to manifest this, this event, this person, this situation as well. So when I say hard work, I don't mean you have to like slog your guts out to like get money or anything like that. It just means that you have to acknowledge that you are amazing and that you have all this stuff to give to the world. You have all this amazingness to give to the world and utilize it. You know, you have all these gifts, utilize them and use them, okay? And I do feel like money's coming towards you as well. I do see someone coming in closer into your energy. I can feel them. I can feel like a new energy kind of entering in. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you are interested in my crystal shop, please look down below. That information will be in the description box. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you. You guys are amazing. And I really super, 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 super appreciate your support. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon.